Hey guys, Darth Glorik here, back with part 18 of our Fallout 4 playthrough. So last time we uh, started the Vault 88 DLC and we poked around the Commonwealth a little bit, so lots of good stuff happened there. And uh, yeah, so first of all, I'd like to apologize for the lack of uploads yesterday. I honestly forgot to post it on my social media, but I had a lot of things pop up and get in the way, and so I wasn't able to record, but, and I, like I said, forgot to post on my social media. So here we are. We're back though. Back with a brand new wrap. So, uh, really quick though, we got a boatload of achievements. So, uh, before I started recording, all of our achievements for uh, for this last episode of our Call of Duty campaign just popped, uh, and we got a whole bunch of new ones. So, w one of the new ones we got is uh, complete Operation Grave Robber. We have Jackal Ace, which is earn all Jackal weapons and upgrades. We have complete all ship boarding side missions. We have complete Operation Deep Execute. We have clear half of the most wanted board. We have Operation uh, Safe Harbor. We have Operation Phoenix. Uh, and yeah, so that's what we got today. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven new achievements today. And so as you can see, I'm up 515 uh, gamer score this month. We are approaching 56,000 gamer score. Per that's pretty exciting. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty happy with that for sure. So, as far as what to, what to do this time, I think we're going to probably do what we've been continually doing. We're going to kind of sort of be focusing on the uh, on the Vault 88 DLC, but more we're also going to uh, be poking around the Commonwealth, gathering materials, just kind of clearing locations, stuff like that. So, you know, things of that nature. So, let's see. We could uh, turn on the beacon while we were just, while we were, while we was waiting. I guess that's fine. All right, let's go ahead and uh, start today off by uh, hopping back to the vault. And we will, because I'm pretty sure I connected it. I think I sent Ada to Vault 88, so now uh, I have access to all of my, all of our building materials from there. So that's good. And uh, yeah, so that'll certainly help a lot. So we'll go ahead and turn on the beacon and we will see where we are. Uh, We'll turn on the beacon, and then while we're waiting, I don't know if we'll poke somewhere else, or if we will, uh, we'll have to see what happens with that, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, so, the beacon, down here. Also, nuka -Cola. Bam. Well, that's actually a good point there, little objective. While we're waiting, let's go ahead and go explore the depths of Vault 88. There's lots of places to, there's lots of different uh, areas to explore. So, we, as you can see, there is the North Sector, the East Sector, and the Northeast Sector. Each one has a workshop that you can turn on, which basically unlocks that portion of the vault. Uh, which basically unlocks that portion of the vault. So, uh, we could go down this way, or we could go down that way, or that way. Uh, all are viable. Let's go ahead and go this way. Let's go. We'll see what kind of trouble awaits us down here. And Def, believe me, there will be trouble. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, intense things in the vault. That's for sure. All right. One dead ghoul. Also, uh, okay. A little bit loud. I missed. Ow, 10 rads from getting hit the one time. He had a flip lighter, though. Ooh, he has stuff. Lots of 10, mil 10 millimeter rounds. That's good. Hell yeah. Hey, look. There is, I found the control board. Because, yeah, you need the uh, control board for each... Uh, you need a control board for, uh, for each uh, workshop. So, you know. Okay, there's going to be a lot of bad Juju Magumbo up ahead, so let's go ahead first and start off with a Rad X so we don't get assassinated immediately, and there we go. Alright, uh, let's see. We could throw some Synth Relay Grenades just for funsies, mostly to just get rid of them because they weigh half a pound a piece, so it's needless to wait, uh, plus what we're, what we're about to fight is going to be kind of annoying. Go ahead and drink that. Get our health back to full. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a save before we dive head first into, into this mess. And, uh... Let's go. Man, I'm 
half tempted to come down here with my uh Oh, I know what I'm have. I'm gonna have to clear that first. Okay, never mind. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm, I think I might have to come down here with my power armor, just for just for the rads. Look, jet. Anyway, and look, we got more rads already. It's everywhere. Uh, all right. turn around. Dumb little dead idiot. I think there's a Mirelurk Queen up ahead as well. Alright. Well, if that's how you're gonna be, I'm just gonna stand up and walk in like I own the place. Ah, oh, there they are. Kobe! Here it is. That Mylar Queen is not doing well. Ow, ow, acid. I like how that he shoots at me. You little pest. The Mylar Queen is there and you shoot at me. There we go. We got him. Yep, not nearly as hard when you're the level that we are. Uh, I don't need any of that. What do you mean heavy leather? Is it a different kind of leather? Huh. We'll go ahead and take it with suspicion. Take it with suspicion. All right. So you basically get the idea that there is a lot of uh, there's like something big and powerful and mean and evil in every uh, in every part of part of the vault. Of you know of there's in every piece of all 88 there's some sort of like boss or type of thing like at this section it was a uh, it was the big one was the Meyer alert Queen um, and that other section after we clear it and put the control board in um, it will uh, we can clear that there'll be a whole bunch of rad scorpions a, a truck ton of grad scorpions some really big nasty ones too as you can see uh, there was a glowing there was a glowing uh, Meyer alert over here so you know you get the idea all right now we are officially all connected. Now we can clear this place. All right, so there we go. I cleared this main area, and odds are I'll just cut out when I'm just clearing stuff like that because it's not exciting. So, also while we're here though, this won't work without power. So we need power down here. But once we get power down here, we can light up this, and we'll have like 150 water. It's gonna be sweet. It'll give us a lot of water, which will be really nice. So we'll have to do that. But you know, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, first of all, well, we can go ahead and keep this the synth relay grenades here for now. For now. We can go ahead and clear all of this stuff too. Is there a lot of rando junk, as it were? We can clear that. None of that can be cleared. That's all concrete. We can clear that. Tool chest. Oh, okay, good. It is empty. All right, so clear that, clear that. Figure you might as well clear this area, because, you know, I mean, it's all just in the way anyway. Okay, we are back. So the game crashed for literally no reason at all. So, you know, that's a fun experience. Okay, anyway, so now now that I know the game is, like, begging for a crash, I will be saving it religiously. Here comes Glorick at about 100 miles an hour. Anyway... I cleared this little bit of area. This time, we're not going to clear what's up there. I mean, maybe eventually, but we're not going to we're not going to do it quite yet. Um, but I went hopped into the workshop, cleared some of the some of the crap in here. I cleared the nuclear material so that we could enter here without getting killed immediately. Um, now we're going to go ahead and give it a save in front of this. We're going to clear it, and we will uh, take care of the uh, rad scorpion situation that's down here. And trust me, they will be. All right, but we're going to need to open this first. Here we go. Okay. Well, the good news is, they haven't reacted yet. Oh, they're about to. Shh. <laughs> the reaction, though. Alright, well. Well, let's go ahead and, uh... No, you let me target it for a minute. Thank you. Anyway, as you can see, it gives you a lot of nuclear material. 
But it's also giving you about a million rads, too, so, you know. Make sure that's it. Oh, look. There's more. And the good news is there's so much concrete in here. That's another great thing. Rad Scorpion Hunter. As you can see, we're far enough along now that, uh... We, uh, we're far enough along that we can, like, one-shot things like that. Darn it. <laughs> I missed. Hey, I got you that time. And that time. Problem is, he's not going to be very helpful, because I have I have to clear this stuff as, I, as I'm fighting, so he's not going to be very helpful. But I also need to clear the, the, uh, this stuff in here because the the uh, radiation that I get from being nearby is really intense. It's really intense, so I have to clear this stuff as I go. Oh, here they come. Woo! Woo! Ow! Ow! ow. Alright, where is the door? How do I leave? Hell, I hit one of them. Here, distract him. Go, my legion of synths. Ow. Oops, I missed. Ow. Whoa. Told you. <laughs> Told you there's a lot of bad things in there. Alright. Okay. Alright, we're okay. A little bit of a panic spray there, but we got through it. Oh, I forgot. I was like, why does this gun sound like that? But it's because it's silenced. I forgot. I forgot we put a silencer on it just for the lulls. All right, well, that was, uh, told you, there, told you there's a lot of rat scorpions in there. And even though I knew it was coming, I still didn't re- I still, uh, I still wasn't ready. <laughs> I took two because, uh, I'm almost positive it would take two. And even though this isn't cooked, let's just eat both of them. Woo! Told you guys there was some bad juju in there. All right. Uh, resilient radium rifle. We can take all the ammo, obviously. 150 damage resistance while reloading. Okay, and if I was 45, sure. Let's take it. Who knows? Maybe I'll love it. Uh, blood, nuclear material. There's a uh, one of the synths that we shot. Well, if nothing else, it's nice to lose the weight from from uh, from killing all of these synths. Or from having all the synths out. <laughs> They're kind of like my buffer against, uh, they help distract. Well, that was intense, huh? Okay, well, first bring out the shotgun, and just in case. Then, uh, let's go ahead and take a rad X, just to help me stay alive. Okay, now let's hop back into the, uh, hop back into this, and try dealing with all the other stuff in here. Oh, it's probably over here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, you guys see the big, large, and in charge thing down there? I think there's more rad scorpions in this part, by the way. Okay. So, let's see. Options. Let's take a med X for damage resistance. Then, let, uh, let's see. I could chuck a pulse grenade because it... So I think we're going to go clear bottom right first. Oops. I was just trying to do this. Okay, now let's give it a save because I don't trust that this game's not going to freeze on me. Let's give it a save because I don't want to have to deal with all that again. Okay, now.
Hey. There we go. That was easy. That one felt like we actually had a plan, unlike it felt like with the with the rad scorpions, it 100% felt like pure, like, <laughs> pure uninhibited panic. Oops. Oh, don't you worry, hey, princess. I, I will. Also, I'm gonna give you all this because I don't want I don't have to carry it. There, that's for you. Oh yeah. Now that we don't now that the death and danger of this side's gone, now we can clear this place out. Okay, so I cleared this little area down here as you can see, so now it's all clean and pure. Now we have this area to deal with. Give it another save now that that's over. The other thing I, I, I thought about doing, let me go ahead and show you what I thought about, because I can build an all, all of this obviously, and I, it's all connected, so I thought about doing this. You know, build me a super powerful machine gun turret. Build me two of them. And then, because I could just carry them with me, like, you know what I mean? Because I, I can move all this, I can deposit it back in the, I can just hit store if I don't want to use them. Treat them like a little bit of a buffer. Let's not even bother with, with it right away. Just because, like, we're gonna have, we're about to deal with more, we're about to deal with more of it. Okay. Knock, knock. Hey. All right, that's how this has to be. I guess we'll slowly clear. Ah, here he comes. Oh, they're mole rats. Oh, well, that's not very, that's not scary. Hey. <whistles> Protect me, my turrets. Yeah, they're just mole rats. Well, that's not that. That's not bad. I will take all that though. Yeah. Okay. P perfect, guys. We cleared one whole one whole side. All right. Well, let's go ahead and store you and you. Thank you so much. Thank you both for your contributions to God and Country. You made me feel far more secure than I would have otherwise. All right, beautiful. Well, that was like freaking Vietnam, but we got through it. Okay, uh, let's see. So, first of all, let's go ahead and turn off this for now. Let's go ahead and over and uh, interview some candidates. Let's actually give it a save, and then I'm gonna try and clear this tunnel as we go up, and we'll just hope it doesn't freeze on us, ideally. All right, here we go. You, you guys ready for the freeze? I'm ready. All right, look at that. We did it. It didn't explode. Let's give it a save after that. Cool. Okay, let's go help the overseer. Interview some candidates. Oh, now that we did that, we actually could, uh, let's see. Let's see. We could use a rat away. And then go ahead and eat a rat scorpion meat. Get us back to 100%. To do to do. All right, we have to remember to stay in character here. We don't trust the overseer. We don't care about. We hate Vault Tech. Hey, just a moment, and we can begin. Please, step forward. Ah, yes. Welcome. Welcome. So this here is a vault, right? Quite correct. This here's a vault, and you right? Could be one of our lucky new residents. You do got food in this vault, right? Of course. And a chance at a new life. A question or two first, however. What do you think is the role of a good government? Government? What the hell are you talking about? She's been locked down here for too long. Uh do you know what government is? Some sort of old world club, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't want anything to do with that. I think we've uh -huh. got what we need. You won't do for our special assignment. But welcome to our vault. 
Your new home. If she is representative of what's left above. She's pretty accurate to what's above. The outside world must be rougher than I imagined. Are you ready? You're an idiot if you don't be if you didn't if you weren't aware of this already. Uh sure. Let's continue. All right. She even sounds Hello. bored. She's like, Welcome fine. Welcome to Vault 88. This is a real nice place you have here. Real nice. And I can go wherever I like, right? Within reason, yes. He's trouble. But I have a question for you. Sure, sure. What do you want to know? A hypothetical. Let's say the reactor core is melting down, and you're the only one who could stop it. Is there something wrong with your reactor? No, no, it's fine. She said Just hypothetical. Pretend. So you can stop the meltdown. But you'd suffer from extreme radiation exposure. What would you do? Well, whatever you'd like. If you don't mind, I'm anxious to look around. <laughs> if you're thinking about ripping us off, don't. Listen, it's hell up there. If you really give me food and a place to stay, I'll be good. Just don't go expecting me to jump in a reactor for you. That'll work. I think we could use him in our vault. As long as you guys are on the level, I'll give this thing a try. Honest. I appreciate your candor. You can stay, but you're not what we're looking for. Go ahead and get acquainted with your new home. What a colorful gentleman. Clearly, he won't work for our experiments. Here's Indeed. hoping third time's a charm. Uh. It's not his fault. You have to look out for yourself out there if you want to survive. I certainly trust your instincts on this. Mine are, shall we say, rusty from all the years of solitude. Next. Trust Hello. me, I'm right on this. Welcome to your new home. Wow. A real overseer. I, I am so happy to be here. Hi. My name is Clem. Uh, yes. Clem, is it? Before you settle in, I have some questions. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I, I'll answer anything you like. Well, uh... That's good. Here's a scenario. You've been assigned guard duty. You know. Stand watch and make sure outsiders don't breach the perimeter. But from inside the vault, you hear a woman screaming. What would you do? You want me to guard something? Sure. Uh, I can do that. I can do that right now, if you want. But I don't hear any screaming, lady overseer. <laughs> well, aren't you just precious? <laughs> I, uh, thanks, I think. Another question for you. What can you tell me about your mother? Oh, she passed. But she was nice. You would have liked her. She killed, she killed a mole rat once. Really? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, that's remarkable. And describe the traits you most admire about her. Well, she was strong because of the mole rat. And she, uh, uh, she, she fed me. God, I I'm sorry. Th this place is so much better than the ditch I was living in. Mole rat kill counts really are the foundation of maternal affection. I guess. <laughs> Am I doing okay? We're looking for a volunteer, Clem. Someone to test some new devices that will help everyone. Are you interested? You mean I can stay? I, 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 I mean, yes. I'll help out. I like helping. That's me, Clem. Always willing to help out. Yes. <sighs> I think you'll do nicely. And no time like the present to commence. Now that we have... Clem, we are ready to begin. The first step is to get him properly equipped and dressed. There should be supplies in the welcome area near the entrance. 
Fair enough. Alright. Boop. Completed model citizen. Yes! Uh, let's see. I guess I could give him... Just give me one of those. Thank you. Hey! Hey! Clem, let's get you outfitted like a real vault dweller. There we go. Okay. So, apparel. Give him the Vault 88 jumpsuit. And then, I think it's under miscellaneous. Pip boy, pip boy, pip boy. There we go. Boop. And then, let's see. We're going to go ahead and equip. Some Beautiful. people complain, but not me. Just happy to be here. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There you go. All right, wait, I'll wait for you to sit down before I interrupt your... Interrupt you. I guess we can put the gun away. Our hey. Our first vault residence. What a moment. But, on to business. Exercise is an inherently selfish activity. Instead of using every hour, every minute, to further the goals of the community, a resident instead improves their body past the minimum requirements. vault has devised a solution. The Power Cycle 1000. While you pedal, you provide raw power to the vault. A perfect answer to an inherently counterproductive practice. Your argument is wrong on so many levels. If you are so convinced <laughs> exercise is good, then refine the power cycle to make it better. Moving on. The prototype is far from perfect. There were incidences during its R&D. Maybe even the stray cerebral hemorrhage. Uh, what? Overseer? Oh, Clem. Don't worry yourself. This model <laughs> glitching around from those defects. Oh, good. Well, probably. Let me download the schematic to your pip boy. Build it and attach a terminal to choose the parameters of the experiment. Work Clem hard. Give me power. Uh, no. <laughs> Just like, um, no. Lurk, I realize you're trying to really hard to race me for the door so you can block me, and I realize you're being lit troll right now, but if you could just not. Alright, so first things first. Let's go ahead and go ahead and turn off the thing so we don't get more settlers than we want. Shut that off. Progress. Now, let's go ahead and see. So we have four people in it now, which is fine. That's all according to plan. Uh, but we need to find... We need to find the other two. Oh, look, the other two. Okay, all right, well, that's easy. But first, I want to go ahead and get uh, get vault suits for him. But, yeah, I guess we can give him vault suits. It's fine. Okay, so go ahead and get me uh, two vault suits and get me two pit boys. Beautiful. Oh, nope, we're good. I was going to open the workshop for a minute, but we actually don't need that. For a second. Let's see if I even can give you two. Hey. Can we trade a few things? Go ahead. Perfect. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and hop on down here and give you one. Then we're going to go down to the pit boy. Pit boy. There we go. And give you that. There you go. Officially, you're a vault dweller. Just wanted to trade a few things. Sure thing. Okay, and then you're also going to get a Vault 88 jumpsuit. Oh, flip. Alright. Down we go. And going to give you a pit boy. There you go, that's for you. There you go, you guys, look, you guys are official now. You feel excited? Are you happy? Okay, well first we have some uh, basic things to take care of. Uh... <laughs> maybe we maybe first we should build a floor. All right, I will take care of this. I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alrighty, welcome back. So, uh, as you can see, let me actually reopen that. 
we have now a hundred water. We have 170 power. And we have a couple of food. We have the beds. So all kinds of good stuff. So this is the powered vault tech pump. So that gives us a hundred water, which is fantastic. And I built this little, you know, obviously I, I built a little, uh... I built a little foundation to put on our little, to put our stuff on, just to make it look nice and neat. And, uh, so that's done. Even though, like, all the connected, the connected generators are kind of haggard, but it's fine. Anyway, so I did that. So now we have plenty of water. Now, I also, you can build little garden plots, and so you, that way you can make, like, obviously an artificial place so you can plant plants. Because obviously, there's no dirt in here. I mean, there's dirt on the floor, but if you covered it up, like, there's no, there's no other option, like, inside you know like uh, on on the actual floor obviously you could do it over here if you wanted to leave it dirt or whatever but so I built a little garden plot and I put a couple of mutt fruit plants with the with the dude taking care of that I put some beds up as well and so now we are so you know now we are officially cooking so that's good so that's good now a couple things that we're gonna do first is we could uh, beautiful Okay, now we have some more options. So now let's go ahead and put this little generator here. Go ahead and connect it. Hey, look, we have light now. Yay. Okay. Uh, now, what was our actual objective? <laughs> I spent so long to, taking care of things. Build the power cycle. Right. Right. Yes, of course. Obviously, I totally knew. Totally knew that we were doing that. All right. Isn't it under? Is it under special? No. Yes, it is. Okay, so... You can just build that to here. There we go. Connect to terminal. All right. So now we got to connect a terminal to it. So let's go ahead and go to power. I don't know if it what it'll it'll be under necessarily. Miscellaneous. Ah yes, a terminal. So now let's go ahead and maybe put this over here. Uh, it doesn't have enough power. It needs one. Let's see. I could slide it back. Let's see if I can connect it this way. Oh, yeah. There we go. Because each one only takes one power. So, there we go. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. No, we're good. Okay. So, power cycle experiment. Uh, let's see. Choose. Okay. So, here's choose experimental parameters. So, now we have to choose. Uh, let's see. Additional power production, sustained usage, environmental enhancer. Let's see. The power cycle is already successful. Um, wasteful exercise turned into clean power, but I task our D team to push even further. How can we further refine other opportunities to reach further goals? Let's see. R&D notes. Okay. Over the many trials, we found that some test subjects would pre would pre uh, present physical resistance to the power cycle testing. Using coercive or psychological force to maintain the power cycle could prove problematic in vaults with minimal security personnel. Discreetly injecting small doses of buff, buff, buff out, not only will the test subject pedal longer and faster, but potentially they'll associate the narcotic effects with the activity. Interesting. Okay, well, obviously, so that's less than a uh, ideal situation. Uh, administering electric shocks when the subject's rotations per minute dips below acceptable levels. The amount of generated can be increased. Interesting. Uh, team took a diff very different direction. Despite objections, they posted that if the cycle was associated with natural positive feedback, the product productivity would be enhanced. Using strong uh, aromatic essential oils, the power cycle elicited a strong initial uh, impression. A soundtrack of gentle music. I don't think Ted is working out, Dr. Braun. <laughs> uh, except... There we go. Alright, so in case you were wondering... Is it true what they're saying about... You know who? What are really they saying about... Not. I hate the idea of living in the same vault with a person like that. You think I should... Should I tell him? Or, you think he's already... Oh, actually, he might be going on his own. I'm also going to assign her to, like, a security something or other. Okay, so, actually, I'm going to go... Let, let's go take care of that. Uh, should be under defense. Guard posts. Uh, we could do something super subtle, like a security desk. We also could, like, wipe that and that. 
Oh, but I can't move those little those little things. Okay, that's fine. I can make it work. There we go. Now is that far enough away? Yeah. All right. Now let's see if we can go find that lady. Watch out. What's that? You smell that? Hey. Never smelled such a thing. Is that you, fruit? Okay, so he's pretty excited because he's uh, he's smelling the nice aromatherapy as he's working out. So that's you know good news for Clem. Okay, now we assign that girl to the security desk, so that'll give us a little more security. Plus, it looks official, so it's fine, which is nice. There we go. Okay, so as far from an uh, from a role playing perspective, as far as uh, as like the whole experiments stuff is concerned, um, I'm th I'm thinking that. Uh, I'm thinking that obviously our, our character isn't going to want to back up. She's not going to want to help out uh, Vault, the vault Tech girl because she hates vault Tech Because the vault Tech like, you know, like screwed her over and ruined her life. And so uh, so obviously she hates vault Tech. So as much as though she's not like a super, you know, people person, you know what I mean? That she's not like super enthused about about like helping people or making things better. She doesn't care about these people. She does, uh, she does prefer it to helping out vault Tech. So, you know. So that's going to be a thing. Okay, in case you're wondering. All right, we can sleep for, for an hour. That way I don't have to wait, admittedly. Whoa! Hey, man. <clears throat> oh, man. I'm sorry. I broke your fault. I, I just got so excited and I wanted to do a good job and I kept pedaling faster and faster. And it's then fine. the whole vault went kablooey. The whole vault didn't. Please it's just the one thing. Me out. Chill, bro. Chill. Uh, repair. Repair. There. Get back to it. Oh, it looks like she's coming this way. All right. Here she comes. As usual, Glorik is loitering about, looking weird. Yo. Hey, I was looking at the data for the power cycle. If I am reading the report correctly, you chose a lavender and vanilla aroma dispenser. I feel. That's right. Really relaxed. <laughs> Super chill. <sighs> We're engineering a new society, you know. Not some sort of day spa. My clothes still smell funny. For the next experiment, we'll need something from outside. vault subcontracted out chemical research to Hallucigen Incorporated. It was supposed to be delivered before. Well, before. But, with the mail service out of commission, other arrangements must be made. Tracking this research down won't be easy. Make it worth my while. If you insist there's danger, then take these missiles. Lord knows what I'd do with them. Just get that research. Once we have that, we can start the next experiment. All right. Completed. Out of the people. Hey, we leveled up. It was just enough to level us up. All right. So... We could grab the next level of rifle. We are as good as we can be on those, on both of our mod situations, so that's good. We could grab more carry weight. We could also grab this so we can build stores and workstations at at workshop settlements. That could be a good idea. Um, let's see. We already have the top level of hacking. Uh, let's see. We already have the uh, we already have cannibal. We could go up another one there. Let's see. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, we, we could grab an upgrade to this. So they suffer more damage in combat. They're easier to persuade in dialogue. Which would be really nice. Going towards this one wouldn't be that bad either. Oh, decisions, people. Lock picking might, uh, might be wise. But I would have to go up one more on perception to do it. Not to say that that's like, means I can't get it done or anything. I'm just saying. Actually, our pistol does. Our pistols have no upgrades. Let's go ahead and upgrade our pistols so our pistols can get some good damage because they are behind to say the least. All right, 
let's go ahead and unhighlight this and uh, I feel like that you know I don't want to spend too much time doing the same thing you know I like shaking it up okay so let's go ahead and highlight explore vault 88 and let's go down this way this time all right come on Glork we got things to do we got places to explore Oops. Nope, just trying to... Thank you. She's a man-eater. Pretty, but we got it done. Shut up, Warwick. Targeting enemies is is the perfect place to fire your weapon, you moron. You moron. Okay. Uh, we don't need the meat, but I will take the hide, though. Give me the hide, because the hide means leather, and we always want leather. I wish we could turn on music. So, I guess you're wondering, uh, the classical, the classical, um, station is gone because that was part of the, uh, they were, the Institute was hiding their signal in there. So, with that gone, they so that's gone. That, we can barely hear that. So, and I don't want to risk turning on Diamond City Radio in case the Wanderer comes on. You know, the other thing I thought about is I thought about risking it and then in editing, say, uh, turning it off, like, mute, muting my audio, but... I feel like it's not worth it. <laughs> so we'll just deal with the silence. It's less than ideal, but here we are. Alright, I feel like there's going to be rads ahead. So let's go ahead and take a rad X. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. I don't know why that song's in my head. Down, boy. Ooh, duct tape. You might as well just give me everything. Give me it all. And you have hide, so give me that. Oh, that actually reminds me. Hey. Hey. Yes, ma'am. I want to give you the junk that I picked up. All right, that's for you. Whoa, here she comes. She's a man eater. I don't remember what's in here. Oh look, they're uh, ghouls, is what's in here. I like it with the silencer, that's cool. Is there anything ahead? Ammo. It's only wood, but I'll take it. Oh, it's empty. Okay. No, nope. it still goes off rads. Pencil. Yeah, there's a. Oh my gosh. Holy rads, Batman. Say. Kobe, off the wall. Ow, you idiot, you hit me. You fool. It doesn't actually hurt. I was looking at actually just, uh, it just uh, disorients, but it's still annoying to have your own guys shoot you. It's still annoying. Well, there you go. Wasn't pretty, especially because I've missed like a, like most of those shots. Wasn't pretty, but it's fine. Yeah. Hey, we got the control thing for this side. Lovely. 
Lovely. Oh, here she comes. She's a man eater. Why is that song in my head? Okay. Nice. Do 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 do. Okay. There's nothing over here and up this way, right? I, th I was about to say no. I think that's a dead end. And in fact, it is. And that's where we came in, so we're good there. Alright. We are free to move on. Oh, we should absolutely take another rad X. Because who knows what we're about to uh, encounter over here. Oh, we should save it as well. It's been a while, so let's save it. It's been a while. Knock, knock. It is I. Argyle Machalach. Uh. I ain't scared. We'll just waltz up like I own the place. I mean, technically, I do own the place. That's what's funny. Uh, forks in the road, huh? Well, I, before I do that, I want to double check and see what I know what's in here. Before we get too gung-ho with just running around. And I know that that wall can be destroyed. A lot of these walls can, to be honest. Okay. Before we do that, Glark, come on. We got to double check what's this way. Oh, here she comes. Hmm. All is quiet on the western front. Ooh, there is uh, lots of good... Lots of adhesive, though. Remind so much good loot. Days, hey. I suppose... These are all for you. I'm going to turn off my light. It's more like inhibiting me, inhibiting me at this point. Uh, I was double checking. Ah, there we go. I don't know which way dead ends. That's the problem. Is like there's so many forks in the road that I don't know which way dead ends and which way continues on. It's fine. I know what's over here. You see that reflex time? I know there's a ghoul up top. See the reaction? Oh, it was so good, though. I was ready for bloodshed. They weren't sneaking up on me. Man, there's so many paths to go. We'll take all those. We'll take that. Yeah. Hey, look, I found the the control for the uh for the other one. That's kind of funny. All right. I feel like we're uh kind of accidentally Making our way to, uh, making our way to, uh, the, uh, other one, which is, which is pretty funny. Alright. Backtrack. Come on, Glork. We have to go upstairs. Maybe we are, maybe we are safe to go turn on that other board. I didn't, thinking that it was surely, surely there was more trouble ahead, but, you know, here we are. Take those. Alright. Ah, 
Okay, so I can't get in there until we can destroy that board, but we can't do it until we turn on the whatchamacallit. Alright, come on, Glork. We gotta go back. We gotta turn on this, uh, whatchamacallit over here. Alright, while we're going this way, let's go ahead and check what's over this direction. Oh, yeah, how about that? This is the other one. This is the northeast one. That's pretty funny. Okay. Alright. I'll work on clearing this, like, officially uh, at a different time. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, go turn on that other one. Yeah, it's, it is kind of, it just kind of surprises me that A, they weren't that far away from each other. Is that's the first thing is they're not that far away from each other and uh, and there wasn't like a I know that there's other really bad juju <laughs> uh, one in one of these was like an albino death claw and there's a uh, yeah that this stuff this place is still infested with things so you know don't get too excited but we have fully I mean I would say fully explored but uh, you know all we've really done is we've unlocked the whole thing to be uh, cl cleared out, which we should do, but we're not going to do quite yet. Honestly, uh, I will probably work on like the building portions of it, probably maybe off camera is what I could do. Uh, if I wanted to like officially clear everything out and stuff like that, uh, I could build everything off camera. Um, just if we were just going to like clear out, you know, if I just wanted to clear clear the junk and the debris, I could do that off camera. Technically. Because, yeah, that's not, not not incredibly exciting. And the building that I've done on camera already, I'm going to cut out, probably. I don't know what I'll do in editing ed editing until I'm already there, but I think most likely I'll end up just cutting it out. So, you know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But we're going to make our way back to our main little area over here. And then we're going to figure out, uh, well, then we'll check our time and we'll figure out where we want to go. Uh, and what we want to do. Perhaps. And there we go. We are, uh... We're back into the main area. And once you clear everything out, uh, I think if that far one over there and then that area down there, they all, they all connect. Like, this one connects to this side. You can, you can go through. And there's a lot to see that way, too. But, uh... We've activated all the workshops. And so now we could clear... We, now we could do all the building we want to with, with everything else. But, obviously, we are going to bench that for a little bit. All right. Uh, I forgot we can actually teleport out of all 88 all right well let's run back home we have a lot of crap to drop off and I need to pick up some more rat X and some more uh, rat away is also wouldn't be a terrible idea time wise okay we're actually doing great on time we're only at about an hour seven right now and after cutting out that'll be shorter than that because I have to cut out the a crash and I, there's a couple of little building that I did that I, I want to cut out so we'll be shorter than that so yeah we're doing great on time uh, but yeah, so the we we vault 88 is not clear a lot of the most powerful stuff is still it's down there But we but we cleared all of the main areas as far as random crap is concerned. So that's good All right, let's go ahead and move all of this everything comes over Perfect All right, let's go ahead and drop off all of this There we go everything goes Inside, inside, inside. In we go. Beautiful. Alright, uh, now we can figure out if there's anything else we want to drop. Uh, we're good on those. Yeah, the, the heavy the heavy leather. I don't have another one, so let's go ahead and just put that away. Because I don't, I don't have another one, so. Alright, uh, from aid perspective. We can drop four of those... We can drop off that for sure. That doesn't hardly weigh anything. We can go ahead and keep it. Uh, we have too many jet. Drop off two of those. We can drop off one Mantat. We can drop off the Meyer Lurk meat. All the Mole Rat meat. We can drop off the Nuka Cherry, the Nuka Cola, Nuka Quantum. We can drop off one of the Purified Waters, the, all the Meyer Lurk meat. Uh, we actually could drop, drop off one rat away, but I need like six rat eggs. We could drop off the rat scorpion egg and the rat scorpion meat. Uh, everything else I'm okay with, but we need... 
to the aid. All right, we need, we need, we need, we need. There we go. All right, I need six rad X. It's not very often that I have to pull things out. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. Cool. All right. It's funny though, I actually need to use a rad X or a rad away. Already. And we could take one of the purified waters. That the rest of it will regen. All right, now let's go ahead and get me a get me one more. I need one rat away. There we go. Thank you. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. All right, more work has been done, which is nice. Now, did, is my little iBot out and about? Uh, yes. Cover the adhesive. Blah blah blah. All right, let's go ahead and go uh, check on Virgil. Because his little serum would have kicked in by now. So it's a little little objective we can clear out and get that done with. And then, so we're, we're level 36. We're actually, level-wise, we, we, we could totally do it. I think we might start the beginning of the... Uh, I think we're going to go ahead and start the, uh, the Nuka, Nuka World DLC. Level-wise, we're there. Um, and with uh, clearing out the different levels and missions, and yeah. I, th I think the, the time is now. Because we're level 36, we're doing great as far as levels are concerned, and I think I think we can do it. Well, well. Welcome back. It needs some refinement, but uh, I think we can consider my serum a qualified success. This is a qualified success. There were some side effects to the process. I seem to have hair again, and I've retained some muscle mass. The genetic resequencer needs more. Still, I take your point. This is a significant advance, but only for one strain of FEV. It will take years, perhaps decades, to generalize my formula. Still, you have my gratitude. You're welcome to make use of my lab. Or help yourself to any of this junk if you want it. In the meantime, I have a lot of experiments to run. Excuse me. The radio signal from the Institute isn't coming in anymore. This, this is where he gets upset. Oh, I blew that place to hell. Nothing left. You did what? They're the dead. Institute had done some questionable things, but all those people. I think. I think maybe you should go, for good. <laughs> Screw you, nerd. I don't want visitors. First, I like how a, for a second he's like. Thanks, man. We're totally tight. I love you. And then, like, the next second, he's like, But, by the way, <laughs> screw you for killing the Institute. It'd be like, You're an idiot. <laughs> you are an idiot. All right. I'm excited. Let's do it, guys. Let's do it. Let's start the DLC. I'm ready. Let's go ahead and uh, teleport to the relay tower. Oh, man. Are you guys excited? L level wise, I think that we are just about perfect. And, uh,. Yeah, level-wise and time-wise and everything else, and uh, I'm very excited. And Nuka World for our uh, character's RP is honestly what I've been building towards. The, what I built our RP around is a, what's the stuff that happens in Nuka World. So if that helps put that in perspective for you, um, it is I am beyond excited. Let's do it, especially because this time I have much higher armor. I made sure to go heavily into the armorer perk so that we would have access to a lot of things that uh, I don't, I didn't in my li in my little personal test playthrough. We'll have access to a lot of things that I didn't, and I'm super excited to be able to do what I'm picturing. And you guys will just have to have to bear with me, but because uh, I'm not going to spoil it. But man, is it exciting! I'm super ready. While we're here, though, we might as well go and discover th this little b building over here. There's a lot of uh, destroyed buildings and destroyed vehicles. Oh, uh, yes, there's a lot of good stuff up here. Oh, jeez. That was rude. Uh, there's a fragment. There's another fragment. There's a hunting rifle that we don't need. Good. Glorit got hit, but you know, not really my problem. It's not really my problem, but you know. What?
lols. One little rust devil got lost from her pack, methinks. Oh, she's not the only one. Another dead little rust devil. They're like, they're dropping us like flies. <laughs> oh man. It's like some of y'all got lost. But hey, don't mind if I do, right? Go away. You little pest, can't you see I'm looting? That's the hard part. Holy freaking crap. I have the health, I can take it. Woo! Didn't expect that. Let's uh, snack on the corpse, help my health, give my health a head start on regenerating. Fusion core. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> well, didn't see that coming. You think the, do you think that sentry bot was with those rust devils or? Or not? Nah? All right, any other ones? Okay, see any other little pieces? All right, well, we, we can discover this later. It doesn't matter. We're on a mission. We don't have time to be dilly-dallying. Hey. He's like, I'm coming for you, Glork. I'm over here, you idiot. <laughs> There's he. <laughs> Why is he running all the way around? Like, he ignored me just to chase chase Gloric, even though... Yeah, I found him too. He's been, like, chasing you forever. Disgusting. Alright. Let's go. Beautiful. Do 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 do. I like that we finally put a perk into our uh, into pistols because now carrying my pistol is much more viable, which is good because we have like almost three thousand rounds for my pistol, and we have like we barely used it. And it's funny how few rounds we found a forty-four because this is the farthest I've been while having the least amount of ammo for that gun. So that kind of surprises me. So yeah, that kind of surprises me. There's also uh, there's also yeah, we have lots of rounds for that, but yeah, it just kind of—it's kind of weird. It's also we only have 776 556 rounds. Again, kind of surprises me. Heads up. Also, yes. Did I uh, put that rifle back? I almost think I pro uh, no, I did not. I totally missed it. All right, well, you can hold the rifle, dude, and because uh, I don't need it at the moment. Maybe before we go all the way in, we'll look at that. But I think I need a gun rank 4 or something. It might be the first radium rifle we found, but I, I almost thought that we found that we found another one. But we were waiting on something. Maybe not. But we'll have to see. Do 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 do. Do do do. Oh. Well, let's go ahead and go up this way. Feels more official. The people of Abernathy Farm are very unhappy. You may lose control of the settlement if things do not improve. Well, don't you worry. The people of Abernathy Farm are going to get what's coming to them. Don't you worry. I have a plan for them. There's a reason I don't care at all about what happens to any of the settlements in the Commonwealth. There's a reason. Alright. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, get a better vantage point. You guys ready for some super sneaker sniping? What do you mean I can't go that way? Don't be a stick in the mud. 
I need I need some height. I can't see from where I'm sitting. Ah, unlucky. All right. Fine. No one investigates that signal until this place is secure. If I see anyone violate protocol and enter that transit station before we're set, I'll have to. Now pick up the pace. I want to be able to report back to Cypress ASAP. It's advanced. I can't open it. <laughs> what can I do for you? Take a look. Do it like quickly and quietly, please. Looks like this shouldn't be too difficult. Let me try something else. There we are. Unlocked as requested. Thank you. you. Ow! Hit myself in the last face with the mistake. door. Who's there? I was that for last mistake, idiot. I don't know where she is. There you are. I was wondering who kept shooting me. And someone is an absolute assassin. Because, like, every shot I get hit. Put your face up. Come on. This guy's like freaking Neo. Like I have, I've had like eight near hits where a bullet grazed him by centimeters. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Stop shooting me. Don't you worry, I'm already on I'm already on it. Nice. There we go. If you could just get out of third person, please. Alright. Uh calibrated assault rifle. Super fancy combat armor, but obviously I don't like combat armor. So I'm not gonna wear it. Neener, neener, neener. All right. Had some shotgun shells. Yeah, all all these guys were rocking combat armor. They were super fancy. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head up top to loot their those guys' bodies up there. Ah, oh, sorry, I had an itch. Okay. Let's go ahead and give it a save in case I fall through the elevator and hit the floor at Mach 2. Which could be a problem. As you might, uh, as you might understand. See at the top, idiot! Alright. We could look into updating Gloric. I feel like he's, uh, been the same way a long time. We could look into upgrading his weapons or something. We might should, uh, give that some thought. See if he has any anything, any way of being more, any way of being better. Uh, so I think the guys I shot up here were, uh, yeah, I think one of them is over here, and there we go. The other one is across the bridge, but I just didn't want to miss any other loot that might be hiding. All right. Yeah, this is the first dude. Has some bullets. Nothing new otherwise. We could actually use another rat away. Plus, it's a bonus that we had extras. Hey. Cannibal is so nice. It really cuts down on all the aid you have to carry. Nice. 
Nice. Ooh. Grenade, mine, money. Well, that was worth. Worth. Ah, oh, there's another way up. If you were super fancy. Alright, well the point is we've discovered it now, which means we can get here, we can teleport here whenever we want to. Which is good. That does give us some options. But I'm tempted to teleport back home and uh, look into that radium rifle situation. And uh, maybe think about changing our look a little bit. Although we're, we're about to change our look drastically very soon. But, um, yeah. Might be a good idea. Into looking into the radium rifle is really what I wanted to see. I did not need that whiskey. Ooh, a tool chest. And I can open it. Nailed it. Got it. Duct tape. Take all that. Alright, let's search the other side. Good idea to always search the trash cans. They're often full of really good loot. I almost missed that. Almost. And I also saw that after the fact. Okay, we're almost done with my initial look around here. There we go. Bobby pins. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, teleport back home briefly. We'll do a quick little a quick little check. Drop our inventory. We'll look into the gun situation look really alive. quick. Yes. Maybe we'll take a quick peek at Glorick. Look alive. How may I be of if I can actually get my stuff, service. thank you. All right. So first, let's go ahead and drop all of the junk that we have. Okay. Then for aid, I know that there was a few things that I'm carrying that I don't need to. Like the mutt fruit and the nuka, anything. You could drop two of those as well. You could drop the whiskey. That's better. Alright, we could drop all the mines. Grenade, radiant rifle. Okay, let's go ahead and look at our rifle situation. So, let's see. Okay, Elena Mark II. So, sh it's Mark II because I, I'm certain at the time I was upgrading it because I didn't have anything better. Um. So this one, it, with all its upgrades, this one is doing 78, and it fires what 45? Yeah, it fires 45. So let's see. There we go. And this does 43 and 50 with no upgrades. So I'm thinking that we uh, we go ahead and switch over. Let's go ahead and put on a standard receiver, short barrel. The short stock, the regular magazine, the regular sight. Okay. And then let's go ahead and switch on over. Oh, I can't totally upgrade it. Okay. Let's switch that. Wow, so this all takes science. Ah, uh, that's why I didn't switch before. I bet you. I bet you that's why I didn't switch before because you need science to upgrade the radium stuff Okay, well in that case never mind then. Let's just go ahead and put all of Lena's upgrades back on Sorry there Lena Look at that the long ported barrel My fancy stock my fancy magazine My fancy sight and I didn't have anything else on it. There we go so that it has jogged my memory, and I remember why we didn't do anything the first time. Because th that explains why I thought we already had one. It's because we do. We can go ahead and put, stow that in there. We also had, yep, we had a whole bunch of mods. Beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at Gloric before we uh, push on. All right, Gloric. So you don't have any other special stuff. I wouldn't mind giving him the, the century. Or like, you know, giving him the super big fancy. Everything. But I don't have century stuff. 
And if I did, believe me. Mostly it's his weapons that I would that I wish he had better options. But I don't have any of the really good stuff. Yeah. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Because this is only I could give him a flamethrower. Cause this gives him melee damage. But I feel like it doesn't give him a lot of melee damage. <laughs> like, you know, just in general. And this is the actuated frame. Alright. Maybe he's okay for now because uh Right hand laser, right hand f actuated frame. Yeah, all right. I think he's okay because uh, once we start this other DLC, we'll, we'll get more. There'll be mods that we can get for it, uh, for robots and a lot of stuff like that. So it's all right. It is okay. But and I, I did remember why we didn't, uh, why we about the radium rifle situation. It's because we do have a radium rifle. Um, we do have a radium rifle already, I think, if memory serves, but we, you need science, uh, to upgrade it at all, and we don't have any science. But getting at least science one would be a good idea, because you can get, uh, there's lots of, uh, scopes, and obviously there's, there's some guns that need science, but a lot of the really good scopes, like the night vision scopes and stuff that are really sweet, uh, you need science to, uh, to put them on, so it might be a good idea to get them anyway. Also, just because. All right, <laughs> they're like, whoa, you have a problem. All right, let's go ahead and get, uh, we'll just get this out. Okay, let's do it. You guys ready? I'm so excited to finally be starting this DLC. And level-wise, we're definitely there, so. Oh, we should absolutely give it a save right here. Hang on, it's going to be laggy for a second because it was auto-saving, I bet you. That's why. Yep, it, it auto-saved at the top. And I went to save at the same time, so... It didn't love that. They're gonna right. die. What happened to you? Raiders. That's what... Those bastards have my family. You... You gotta help me. Please. Uh... Tell me what happened. They fooled us. Big time. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out there are raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. That's what trust gets you out here in the Commonwealth. Sometimes hope kicks you while you're down. But sometimes... It lends you a hand. You're here for a reason. You gotta be. I turned on a transmitter here, hoping someone would come. I didn't think it'd work, but here you are. It's gotta be a sign, right? So, please, I'm begging you. They're running out of time. If not for them, do it for the caps. You bring them back safe, I can pay you. I swear. Hmm. The caps? You got yourself a deal. Oh, thank God. I was like, hey, I'll do it for money. It's, it's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express. But I shut it down so those bastards couldn't follow me. Find the control terminal in the office, power it back up, and hurry. God knows how much time they have left. All right. Let's see. Nuka Cola. And it's a good news. The good news is because of our high armor stuff, we have uh, we have carry weight for days, which is really nice. It's a nice change of scenery, to be honest. Nice. Don't you how crude me? Look, guys, it's spinning like a top. Boop. All right, <laughs> just. Just don't don't concern yourself with that. We don't talk about what happened there. Bullets. We'll take the aluminum canister. We'll take the fuel. Ah oh, man. Uh alright. Ready? One, two, three. Ah oh! Uh advanced. Darn it. Oh it hurts. It hurts so good. What can I do for you? Think you can unlock that? 
should give it a shot, bro. Looks like this shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, I've heard that before. Maybe if I tried this. Ah! Nope. That's not it. There we are. Unlocked as requested. Good. Come on over here out of the way so I can make a mad dash to it. Alright, ready? Go! Oops. Wrong button. We did it! All it took was getting 30 rats. But it's fine. I can I can fix that. Uh, let's see. Alright, we're okay. But hey, I got a lot of good ammo from that, so, you know, that's a good thing. I don't need the bottle. We'll go ahead and take those. We'll take the cherry. I don't care about your stinking auto pistol. Give me the Nuka Cola, though. Give me that Nuka Cola. Take that. Nothing in the register. Ba -bum, ba -bum. Ooh, desk fan. There's a coffee cup. Nothing good. Let's see. Alright. Alright, uh, let's see. Power grid. Uh, activate auxiliary power. Activate railway power. Parents, if you're looking for a refreshing way to make it through the day, try a Nuka Cola Dark. Same great cola taste with an alcohol twist. Hey. I'd be happy to help if I can. I don't care about you. Get the door open. I had to close it because I wanted to see what was in there. And obviously, it was worth it. All right, Gloric, you ready for a field trip? With the frizz? No way. All right, sorry. <laughs> Give it a save. After the one R one crash, I'm ultra paranoid. Boop. Tanuka World. Stand clear of the doors. All right. Let's go ahead and turn our light off. Put the gun away. <laughs> I can't speak in Spanish. <laughs> I assume that's Spanish. I mean, I, it probably is. It probably is. All right. Oh man, I'm so excited. I can't believe we're finally doing it on the channel. I'm so excited. This is what the whole RP has been built around is this moment. Look at it, guys. If you'll direct your attention to the right side of the monorail, you can observe Nuka World's famous Biz Top Mountain. Standing at over 100 meters tall, Biz Top Mountain is the largest man made structure in Nuka World and features the five star Biz Top Grill. Coming up in the heart of Nuka World, Nuka Town, USA. So, Harvey bagged another sucker to help his family. Can't believe that gang still works. I was doing I it for money. A minute, so you better listen and listen good. The name's Gage, Porter Gage, and the truth is, you've been set up. This ain't no rescue mission. It's a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. We are now arriving at the station. Please hey. be sure to collect any children and personal belongings before exiting the Nuka Express. Wunderbar. All right. Attention Welcome to Nuka World. Do you see how the Got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet. <laughs> Pause. S 
a safety save. It's going to be laggy for a minute because I was, like I said, it was auto saving. Because me and the auto save are like just, we're, we're like brothers. We're always on the same page. Dirty ashtray. I need that duct tape. All right. Let's see. You're dead. System error selection, you're dead, does not point to a valid file. Please contact. Oops. Too far. You are so dead. Uh, obviously, that's not it. Welcome to the gauntlet. We hope you enjoy your stay. Please choose any of the helpful options below. <laughs> enjoy dying. Time to die. <laughs> yes, it is funny. Well done. It's very, very funny. Ooh. The trash cans in Nuka World, incredibly important. Search them, like, more religiously than you've searched any trash can in your life. They're full of good stuff. So much good stuff. You don't even know. And she's off! Let's hope our latest break and draw a little inspiration from our previous victims. This is like most inten intense, like high, uh, you know, high risk shooting gallery you ever seen. You guys want to know where this one is? You're gonna lull. Am I injured? Yes, Glork, I am injured. But don't worry, it's only minor. Aye, oh, that be the truth. This vacation any longer, we're all gonna die of boredom. Oh, that's a corpse to eat. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Lovely. Take those. Luckily, we have lots of carry weight as a first, you know, first good thing, and. Uh, we have, yeah, we have lots of carry weight to begin with, and we have, uh, we have Glorik as well, so. We have all, we have the, ooh, wait, that'll have leather. Anyway, uh, we have the room to be, to be, uh, greedy. So if we, if we find lots of good stuff and we, we want to take it, good. You think the raiders that are watching me see me, like, eating the bodies, they're like, Whoa! She's like way more hardcore than we thought she was. All right. We already searched what was over here. We just didn't grab that. Come on, wow. I saw that. Here. Shut up. You're gonna be pretty impatient, bro. I'm taking my time like I do with everything. Also, cast registers often full of really good stuff. Uh, nothing good there. Like I said, bullets and money and all kinds of things. We don't need any of that. Although, actually, give me the skull and give me the rib cage. Hey. It doesn't make sense now, but trust me, it will. Here, you can have all the crap I just picked up. Load, load up the mule. All right, come on, Glark. Stay with me now. Stay with me, boy. Ugh. Oh, it's just a souvenir glass. Nothing good. Gotta take those. Take those. All three of those. We don't need the extinguisher. All right, give it a save. After a the fir our first successful section, let's go ahead and make sure I loaded my oh, rifle. I did. Nice try. Yeah, master lock. Look at all the trip wires, you guys. This is the trip wire section. Oh, I missed one. Oh, I I, I swear I tripped one. 
I thought I heard it go off. Maybe all I heard was the me like the noise of it disarming or something. Good news is I'm getting so much experience from all this diffuse all the diffusing. Make sure we're make sure we're uh, on point. Suck on that, idiots. Oh. It's so disappointing when it goes 98% of the way there and the last 1% is Sweet. just like, nope, in your face. I'm like, okay. Fine, joke's on you. I didn't even want to make it. Duct tape! That might not have been duct tape. I might have picked up a connecting rod, as might have been what that's called. So that's kind of funny. Okay, are we all, are we all, uh, we good to go? Okay. All right. Everyone watch out for trip mines. Oh, so far so good. Ah, advanced. Where's Clark when you need him? I really need to figure out this. You hear it creak when I step on it? Ah! I really need to do get better lock picking. I really don't want to have to rely on Gloric for it. All right, everyone, watch out. Be nice and gentle. It's like walking through a minefield. All right, hang on. We have rads up ahead. those huh Ophelia's letter all right remember Ophelia we have to look up we have to look up that girl's name that's it the canister is good but it weighs three pounds we'll go ahead and take it for now if it gets heavy we'll just drop it oh. Totally missed that one. It went off after I opened the other thing, but mostly I was worried it was gonna light uh, light the oil on the ground on fire and blow me up. That's what I was worried about. Okay, let's go ahead and find that letter. What was that girl's name? Ophelia. Ophelia with an O. Ophelia. There she is. Ophelia's unsent letter. Uh, dear mom and dad, I'm sure by now you've realized I've left and I'm never coming back. Sure, you managed to keep me safe all my life in that bunker, but I just can't take it anymore. I'm gonna see the world whether you like it or not. I'm heading to Diamond City where I can hopefully find a job and a place to live. You think I can't make it out in the world on my own? Well, I can. I'm sure that I, sure that naive little girl that sleeps with a teddy, I'm not that naive little girl that sleeps, sleeps with a teddy bear anymore. I'm an adult and I can take care of myself. Please don't try to come after me unless you intend to visit. I'm never coming back. I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. I still love you both. Both Ophelia. Well, obviously that didn't go well for her. But I don't blame her for wanting to, you know, go out and see the world. Go out and live her life, because, you know, after his... Yeah, I get that. I don't blame her for that. You just see that little tripwire. Tripwire that you actually can't... Wait, you might be able to, gently. I saw it for a second. Careful. In your face. In your in your face. Okay, do you want that guy? That guy or that guy? I feel like I can almost see inside. Let's see. I wish you could go prone, otherwise I'd go prone and look through the little hole. Way to go, Gloric. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Hey. Go check that out. Go open that door. 
<laughs> All right, well done. Oh, check it out. Go check that door now. Shut up, monkey. It's a great idea having Glork check check out, check things out. Oh, that reminds me. Hey, I have lots of stuff to give you. Be happy to help if I can. I'm scared. All right, let's go ahead and give it a save. So far, it's going really well. We have some rads, but that's that's not the only rads we're about to have. All right. I think our other thing wore off, so let's go ahead and take another one. Alright, it's advanced. I don't have time to wait. The rads are killing me. Huh, 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 huh. Oh! Ow. Okay, uh, first let's take care of our rad situation. First, let's just see how much if that takes away everything. It does. Fantastic. I'll take that. Alright, now let's go ahead and give it a save because this is where the actual exciting part of this gauntlet begins. The slow methodical part is over. We can turn off. The I've never done this at night before. That's the funny thing. Every time I've been here, it was daytime. So it is kind of funny to be doing it in the dark. All right, you guys, ready for this? Oh, actually, I think this is a uh, this is we're not quite at the part I thought we were. Uh, there is another section that I forgot, but it's not bad. It's a lot. Of, there's a lot of trip mines, but it's not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a save. Actually, that it, there was a lag spike, so that auto save is kicking in right now. Wait for it. There we go. All right. Like I said, the autosave and me are like twins, dude. All right, hang on. My ears been getting abused. Ew. There we go. Okay, adjustment complete. My ear doesn't feel like it's being mutilated anymore. Ooh, look at all the ammo. Look, they're finally starting to give me 44 rounds. I can open this. Don't we have the last one? Hang on. Pause, 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 pause. Let's go ahead and do a quick little check. I do have the final perk where I don't get locked out, right? Before I risk it. Uh, when hacking, you never get locked out of a terminal when things go wrong. Okay, good. Confirmation. Yes. Finally. Heavens above. Okay. I just needed to, I just needed to be able to hack it. All right. We finally got in. We're good, everybody. Heavens above that was took forever. Definitely going to be cutting out all the attempts there. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're very funny. Let's Does it still activate? Nope. I shot the monkey. Circuit board. Storage key. Oil. So there you go. Fun fact, if you walk up to the monkey and set him off, all these turrets turn on. It's really exciting. <laughs> it's very exciting. Alright. The gauntlet continues. Ow, flip. Yes. Open sesame. Thank you. Fuse and wonder glue. Huzzah. Also zombie slayers online. Okay. Wonder glue. Ooh, skulls. Give me those. Everyone's like, but you don't need bone. What are you getting those for? Don't worry. It'll mean more later. Put those away. Hey, oh, you freaking idiot. Okay, first of all, look alive. need you to uh, get out of the way. Move. 
move. Idiot. But they it was very funny. Yeah, I I heard that. Let's get a move on. Doesn't matter what you do. The gauntlet gets them all. That's really scary. Ooh. Personal log. All right, personal log. Uh, oh, we're actually nearby. Okay, tired of running with the gunners. I'm gonna get out of here. Sure, it was all fun and exciting at first, but now that I'm older, I'm sick of always watching my back. I just want out. Maybe hold up a good neighbor for a while or try to get in Diamond City, some place where I can at least sleep easy. I got up today to find out that Sarge had Davis killed last night. Heard it was for some back talk comment. He made the day before, which is, which is BS. This is exactly why I need to get out of here. I have to make uh, I have to make sure I keep this holotape close too. Bet they'd shoot me on the spot just for thinking about leaving. Uh, going on a recon mission tomorrow, and I know that there's going to be fireworks. We've had enough super mutant reports to know that we'll run into them. If a fight breaks out, it could always be it could be my chance to get away without question. Uh, they'll just assume I was taken and not worth recovering. Uh, hell yeah, I'm out. I hold up in some rundown building on the far west side of the Commonwealth. Gonna wait until it's dark to make my next move. Might even stay here a few days to see what I can salvage around here. Just gotta be sure to plot a course that avoids any, uh, gunner territory. Uh, damn. Thanks to all- thanks to some feral ghouls, I am way further west than I ha than I want to be right now. Uh, at least my chance of crossing paths with any of my old crew are slim. This place doesn't look half bad, though. Could set up some decent defenses here. Uh, I just heard something. I thought this place was deserted, but it sounds like it was- sounds like someone was calling for help. Guess I'll go check it out. Well, looks like someone else got tricked by Harvey's BS. So that's a thing. Lurk, I re you're never gonna be able to block me forever, boys. So you might as well not bother. It wasn't an actual little alien, y'all. It's a it's a turret that looks like an alien because they are they are lay funny. Okay, we already went through there. He's like, quick, the ladder, block him. Nice try. I still got up. I still got up and over. Ooh. All right. Time for things to get dangerous. See if she survives what's next. Well, don't you worry. Well, don't you worry, pal. I'm very, I'm, uh, I'm very good. Advanced. Hey. Glorick is way over there somewhere. I can hear him trundling around over there. Hey. Fine, I'm not waiting for you. You're too stupid to be worth waiting for. Alright. Yeah. Ow. Doesn't matter, my health will regen. Odds are that car will blow. Yep, it's on fire. Come on, bitch. Wow. Shut up. I'm not going near the car that's about to explode. Hey. Blow up already. I don't want to get close just as you explode. Thank you. I know you're going to blow, so let's not let's not uh, fool around. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. All right, we're good. Just push on through. <sighs> Crap, everything's giving you rats. Okay. Okay, progress everybody. Let's go and give it a save. Now let's go ahead and we need to prep for what's about to happen to us. I think this will work. 
I don't think this will work. Ugh! Missed. <laughs> Lark. Oh, that's a waste of ammo. Alright. Ow, you little. Is everybody dead? Everybody dead? Also, Craig's plan. Thanks, Craig. I'm gonna eat your corpse. Okay. Craig's plan. Uh, all right. Too low. Keep going up. Craig's plan. All right. Uh, Craig's master plan. Find Raider, play part, crush Raiders, make best meat bag, take stuff, win. Good plan, Craig. And what are you? Super mutant. Yep, should have guessed. All right, let's give it a save because there was some lag spikes back there that makes me wonder if it's going to crash. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Ooh, we're getting close, peeps. Lols. Make sure there's nothing. Ooh. There's some jet. I guess I'll take it. And that always oh, leads to that where that door was. That's funny. Even if you got there, it would have been an expert lock. <laughs> that is funny because that means there is no hope if you can't if you don't have the necessary perks. Hang on. <laughs> Lurk's like, ow! <laughs> you blew my arm off. Like that's true. I did. I do it twice. Come on, it was easier than sneaking through looking for tripwires. You know it was. Alright, now be very careful. There's lots of tripwires and whatnot. We're gonna do our best to avoid them all. And we're gonna want to be careful because up at the top here, there's about a thousand. About a thousand grenade things up here. Just take all the grenades, and then not, there'll be nothing to explode. So many experience. So much experience. Much wow. Oh, I can't see it, though. And Glork is trying very hard to blow it up. Wow, they literally won't let you target it. Huh. I got it. I took care of it anyway. Nailed it. Ooh. Uh oh. Alright, they just sealed me in. No one panic. I know. I know. Oh, it doesn't feel good. Let's see if the bit can kill the gas before the gas kills her. Yipe. I know. Don't panic. Give me that. I know. I know. She's upset. Stop it. Alright, I think I grabbed the key. I think. I know there's a rat roach. I'm in the cutscene. You can't stop me. Some dirty door control. Open the door. Hey, you want to like freaking knock it off?
You know what, Glorik? You can handle them. I'm out of here. Whew. All right. Heavens above. That was intense. Okay, now comes the exciting part of everything. So first, let's take another rat away. Because with all those little buggers nibbling, nibbling at my feet, my health isn't very perfect anymore. All right. Let's go ahead and give it a save, just in case it crashes mid, mid, uh, midway through. And in we go. All right, now this is the exciting part of everything. It'll be fine. Cause yes, cause now all of the uh, all of the like, let's go slow, watch out for tripwire part of everything is done, and now comes the actual you know combat and bullets flying and gladiatorial combat section. So it's much much better, and it's the much shorter part of everything too. So you know you have that going for you. So we have that going for us. All right. Here we are. All right. Uh, let's see. I guess we can use this. That's right, Vic. Breathe that fresh air in. Wow. Ah, I can't hit them. They're too. All right, we're good. Hopefully, that's the last of them. Yes, there is. Uh, that one of the new enemies in this game is giant ants, and they're very giant. No way I can pick this. That's true. It's above your pay grade. But yeah, there is giant ants now. Same things. There is also just giant rats rather than mole rats. There is regular, good old-fashioned rats, but you know, giant. Giant because radiation. God damn! Look who's in the whole stretch. Man, that, she is slippery. Ain't the only one that's slippery. Like I said, it's so different with, uh... Lord, did you just shoot me in the back? It's like, no. Oh, I think you did. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus, who's torturing who? Pick up the pace, Vic. Shut up. Ow again. Ow again. It's very hard to hit. I don't know why. Hang on, I need everything. Ow. Don't worry, we'll be able to loot all them in a minute. Shot me again. Alright. He's like, I got him. I'll be like, yeah, you ain't got nothing except for you shooting me all the time. Alright, we got a lot of kills up there, so that'll be cool in a minute when we can uh That'll be that'll be cool in a minute. Alright. Now we will be able to loot all that armor in a minute, and it'll mean a lot. Which will be so sweet. All right. Well, I'll be damned. You know what that sound means? Get your ass down to cola cars. The main event's about to begin. So it begins. All right. Let's see. Go ahead and give it a save on my part. It was laggy because it was auto saving as well. 
Wait for it. Yeah, boy. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Now where? There's my next thing. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up, make yourself presentable. Then we're gonna give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Fat chance, bro. I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. Think you're hot shit getting this far. <laughs> Think again. All right, Gage. Let her through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. Oh, I can't wait. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Remember, longest survival time against Coulter still stands at one minute thirty-seven seconds. Look alive. See what you can do. Get over to Cola Cars and watch Coulter crush our latest pick. Unless you don't like fun, and who here in Nuka World doesn't like fun? It's an advanced lock, dude. Starting soon, so if you're gonna watch it, now is the time. Nope, that's not it. Well, that's worthless. Starting soon, so if you're gonna watch it, now is the time. All right, listen the hell up. Get out of this alive. I've only got a minute. If I need a com on the wall, I'll make it quick. I will ignore you for a minute. Alright, so that said Anise's I think is how you say it, Anise, I don't know. It starts with the A. Uh A U. There we go. Okay, uh to the punks who trapped me in here. I'm done playing your little game. I ran your stupid gauntlet and I made it this far, but I'm done. So no big show for you. Aren't you just the bravest bunch of morons to watch some guy in supercharged power armor beat up on someone with nothing? I'll blow my own brains out. I'll blow my own brains out, thank you very much. Yeah, I honestly don't blame her for that. Oh, hang on. I have to... Ow. Alright, I gotta rest my ear. The thing is mashing it too hard. Hearing on both sides is not worth the suffering my ear is going through. Alright, we we're gonna loot everything. We're gonna ignore him for a minute. Did they give you a truck ton well, of ammo. There certainly isn't much left of whatever this was. We gonna do this or not? Yes. Third sapper. I'm ignoring him for a minute. You got a death wish or something? Shut up. Look, a minigun. You got a death wish or something? Uh, we'll take a teddy bear. We don't need the 10 millimeter I've pistol. So much good ammo. It's it's lovely. Hey, I know you're still in there. There it is. We gonna do this or not? We can open this too. Oh, I panicked, just assumed it wouldn't be there. There it is. Yes. Take that and the duct tape. Beautiful. All right, move it, Clark. Uh, I'm wasted here. Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. Uh. Yeah? And what's in it for you? This ain't just about what's in it for me. Both of us reap the rewards if you pull this off. All right, I'm listening. My kind of gal. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill. This fight coming up is rigged. Do you get me? Over boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? Uh... Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less from a raider. <laughs> you know us well, then. You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it? I already picked that up. Good. That 
little thirst zapper is going to turn the tables on old Coulter. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. Uh... I've always wanted one of these. I made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Coulter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Staying hydrated is half the battle, right? He ain't got a choice. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. All right, man. There you have it. You guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay, so I'm thinking that... Let's see. Thirst Sapper. Thirst Sapper. We're going to go ahead just for quick sake. We're just going to favorite it and put it on the top so I can very quickly switch to my little water gun. Pew, pew. And I don't know what to, what to shoot him with. I feel like the, the, I feel like the pain train would, would work really good. And of course, Elena, that she's just a monster. Which would work fine. Alright. Uh. Disciples! Are you ready for blood? You guys ready for this? Yes, <laughs> very quiet. I was like, yeah, I guess. And you, are you ready to die? Pause. All right, this will be the perfect place to save it, just in case we horrifically die, but I honestly don't expect us to. Let's do this! What's up? What is it? The hardest part is hitting. The way he runs, it's so hard to hit him. Wow, that was waste. What? 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 What's happening? Go away. That was stupid. A lot of that fight was retarded, man. Just like the way his like his like diet like his like kitty corner way of running was just so irritating. It's like I can't hit him because the paint train doesn't fire like that, and I'm really bad. I can't lead shots in this game for some reason. Oh, it moved. All right, we'll take that. Okay. Ah, oh, I don't have power armor to equip it. Yes, chick. Are you sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Survived the gauntlet. She was smart enough to take my advice, strong enough to kill Coulter. She's what we need. That's right. How about we show some respect for our new team, right? She'll get respect when she earns respect. Amen. Bow before the overboss. Fear me. All right, That's right. All right.
Hey there, uh, Brochacho. What did I tell you? Work like a charm. It works well. It's not your fault I can't hit anything. Death by a squirt gun. I'd love to see the message on his tombstone. Tell me about it. I wish I had a better look at his face when the suit shorted out. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. Guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. Let's just say you've got my attention. Good. Now listen up, because I've got a lot to say. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Sounds like fun. Count me in. That's the spirit. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosser, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. Thank you. You could just unlock that for me, Gage. Thank you. Hey, we leveled up. Get wrecked. All right. Level up. Okay. So, what level are we? We're level 37. We need to be level 39 to get our rank 4 armor. So, uh, you know, we're getting there. All right. Fantastic. So, let's see. Decisions, decisions. We could grab lock... Well, we could try work towards lock picking. Uh, we could work on damage. We could grab... The next one of those. We need to be 38 so we can get the better one of those. Just in general, damage resistance wouldn't be bad. Let's see. Grabbing the damp the bloody mess would be good too. Let's see. Choices, choices. Getting more damage in general would be really cool. Uh let's go ahead and grab second level of Black Widow. I feel like that'll be helpful. Alright. Alright. I need to find Glorick because I need to give him the power armor that I picked up. <laughs> Alright, an ambitious plan to speak to Gage at the Overboss's quarters. We will do that. Here he comes. You're, you're almost there, buddy. You're almost there. I just need you to pull your head out of your butt for just a second. Thank you. Too far. Stay. Alright. First, you can have all of this. That'll help. Perfect. Alright, now. Apparel. I just need to give you enough so that I can walk again. Well, I could try giving you everything. Wow, he can hold all of it. Great, well you can hold all that. This is why I brought you along. See, this is why I brought you along. Alright, let's go ahead and take a quick peek. Yellow fedora. Nothing in there. Some rounds in there. Bottle caps. Let's see. Looking for anything super amazing before we uh, hop on out of here. Very nice, very nice. Pamphlet. Turpentine. Jet fuel. That sounds hardcore. That sounds hardcore. Alright. Uh, decanter. All kinds of booze. Okay. That's good enough. I feel pretty, uh, pretty confident. 
All right, let's get outside. We will discover, uh, we'll grab those locations, but we really need to end the episode. Uh, but we will teleport back to Sanctuary, drop off our equipment, and we're going to uh, put this power armor together, and uh, I will show you what we got. Oh, other thing. Oh, man, we have we have a lot to do. I need to, okay. All right, I need to go over here. We need to grab all the, all the uh, armor of the people we killed while we were inside, because we grabbed a lot of armor. But we need to be careful about weight now, because Glorik is undoubtedly getting heavy. Because the, the all that power armor weighs a lot. Alright, so over here is all the people we killed, as you can see. Pack automatic rifle. Let's see. There's all the pack stuff. Like we're just I just want to get what we're immediately going to use. I'm tempted to grab that rifle, but we'll, we'll get other versions of it. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we need. All right. We, we need disciple armor. All right. We will be kind of mixing and matching, putting together uh, some disciple armor in a minute. Ooh, that's a great sniper rifle. And the operator stuff is really cool and really good. Okay. All right. Well, one thing at a time. So, disciple. So, let's go ahead and grab. So, we have a... And the strapped chest piece is this, okay. And he also has the strapped chest piece. You okay, they all do, so it doesn't matter. So strap chest piece. And you can get wrap and ragged pants. Okay, let's see here. Disciple hood, I know I need that. Wrapped right arm. Okay. Wrapped right leg. Uh let's see. I already have, although that that's cowl. I'm trying to tell. Hang on, can I turn you over? <sighs> Let me look at your face. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't want that. I was about to say, wasn't there a third disciple member? One, two, oh, three. All right. Uh, let's see. Chest piece, hood, raider right arm. Okay, so I am missing some pieces, but we did get some pieces of the Disciple Armor. We have the right arm, the right leg, and a chest piece, and the hood. So we have most of it, which is good. So from a junk perspective, all I have is the glove. So from an aid perspective, anything I can drop, we're very close. Okay, drop that. That's one pound down. Drop that. That's two pounds down. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and drop uh, two waters. Beautiful. Okay, now we can walk again. And like I said, the rest of this, like, this isn't exactly the last time we're going to find any of this armor. Uh, but I wanted to grab as much as we could right away. Very cool. Okay, now we can go ahead and... Well, actually, not yet. Not yet. We're almost, almost, we can teleport back. Almost. Alright, so, of the three raider gangs that you, that, you, that are uh, in this place... Uh, my favorite are the Disciples. The Disciples are the creepiest, the craziest, the nastiest, the most intense. I'll talk to Harvey later. Okay, so we have a chance to talk to Hardy, uh, Harvey and settle things with him, which believe me, we will. Um, but I want to, but yeah, we are very low on time. We already passed our time. With editing, we'll be, we'll be able to bring it down a little bit to make it a little more normal. But yeah, we're, we're super... Super out of time, but I but we had enough time that I wanted to do it, and it was worth it. So, first things first, we need to teleport on back to Sanctuary. We need to drop off all the junk. You can't fast travel when there's enemies nearby. Why is there enemies nearby? Loric, you shot me again, you idiot. All right, there were a couple of very normal raiders that were in the wrong neighborhood. All right, I'm, now I'm over, because I picked up a Molotov. All right, do I have, like, dirty water or something? I do have dirty water. Good. All right, there we go. All right, now we can teleport. Teleporting! All right, so we have some moving to do. We'll drop off all of our junk. Um, we'll drop off all of our junk. We will move our power armor for our Brotherhood power armor, and we're going to swap one of those crappy pieces that we have parts of because we just we just need the frame 
and uh, yeah, because we just need the frames. So we will move one of those pieces in, and then we will upgrade and move things around. So, uh, first, let's go ahead and move the. Oh, wait, no, actually, first, let's move over this. Let's move this first. Yep, we'll wait for it. There we go. <laughs> Alright, now let's go ahead and hop inside. There we go. Like I said, we only need the frame, so. There we go. Over here. Alright. We're just gonna stand really close. Then we're gonna hop out. Okay, then we're gonna hop inside this one. Which is our actually good armor. With a jetpack. And then we're gonna move it in place about right there. Check it out, we're slowly building a collection. Okay, now, let's go ahead and there we go. Now that one's in place, fantastic. Okay, we will be able to upgrade and move that around in just a minute. But first, hey, hey. crazy man. Actually, you know what, take all. Literally give me everything in your inventory right now. Okay, so, first, let's go ahead and unequip the crap. Let's equip. Gloric, if you could not, stupid glitchy robot. There we go. As soon as the idiot moves, there we go. As you can see, look at that armor, guys. Look how cool it is. And we can upgrade it as much as we can. Welded plate. Gloric, you're pissing me off. We can make it as good as we can. go we have the welded rebar nice all right beautiful okay now we have a fully upgraded as much as we can over boss armor gloric knock it off idiot anyway as you can see it's upgraded and super cool looking very cool armor despite the fact that gloric's being a, being a retard what else is new Okay, now we can go ahead and dump all of our stuff. There we go. Everything goes inside. Beautiful. All right, now from a weapon perspective, we can drop both of the mines. We can drop, let's see, all of that we want to keep. Okay, we need to drop the torso, the right leg, left leg, and the arm. We are dropping all of this for now. Well, we don't have enough for the right legs and arms. So let's drop the leg and the arm, and then let's equip those two main pieces, and we'll see what we look like in a minute. But first we can uh, figure out this situation. Drop those. Uh, we can have drop two of those. We can drop the jet fuel. We can drop a one, med X. We can drop four mantats. We can drop the, the Mutt Fruit, both of the Nuka-Cola Quantums. We can drop three Psychos. We'll keep all those. There we go. Okay, now we're much lower. So, from a, a close perspective, let's go ahead and clip the chest piece and the hood. Um, now, let's go ahead and uh, check it out, people. We look freaking awesome. So, we will keep our eyes peeled for other stuff. Um, we will, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep our eyes peeled for other armors and things, uh, that we can, um, change, because not all of, some the, the, some of the, the, some of the disciples have other options beside the strapped, um, armors, but for now, it, it's much more in character, because we're, we're going in on this, uh, on this, like, the, our bandit, quote-unquote, type of playthrough, so, but, yeah, but for now, I like it. So let's go ahead and drop the, the chest piece, the cap, the glasses, the skull bandana. We'll wear all those, which is great. Our carry weight is temporarily lower, but the f interesting fact about this is this right here. You need rank 4 armorer, and in this case, rank 2 blacksmith as well, which I didn't realize, uh, to be able to upgrade the disciple armor. 
And that and well to upgrade it like with this stuff you need rank four armor So luckily we're not that far from that, but we are gonna need rank two scrounger for this So you need like crazy stuff to be able to upgrade the disciple armor um, So yeah, you need lots of crazy things to be able to do it but uh, for our role play I this is the it's a good start to be sure It's a good start to be sure which is super super nice and uh, yeah, for now, this will be the look that, we, that we're rocking. We will keep our eyes peeled for other options. Um, and yeah, we'll keep our eyes peeled for other options. And uh, we'll keep that in, we'll, we will be keeping that in mind of, uh, of finding better options. The other only, only other op thing I'm wondering here is, that's the thing though, is I don't think there's any like under thing that'll work here. Uh, let's see. Corset, yeah, obviously that's not gonna work. Chest piece, tan suit, trench coat, bandanas. There's a harness. All right, go ahead and grab me that. I want to see if I can put anything else underneath it to make it look a little bit different. Um, let's see. Military cap, sunglasses. Those are all Brotherhood of Steel. Sack hood with hoses. Sequin dress, bandana, suspenders, and slacks. That could be interesting. All right, t-shirt and slacks. Okay, let's go ahead and try a gunner's harness. Or let, yeah, let, let's try a harness and see, because it does the same thing. All right, now let's go ahead and get me where I can see me, myself a little better. Hey, there we go. Now it's kind of re remotely sexy, you know what I mean? But still, like, I'm sexy, but I'm also a serial killer. It's perfect. Yeah, I like that. All right, well, let's go ahead and uh, put the gunner flannel back. And it weighs a lot less, too, which is a w it weighs a pound less, which is a, a bonus. But I like it. There we go. That's even... That's even better. It shows. It shows some. Shows like it frees up my arms, which is one thing you notice. But it's nice. I like that. I like that. And uh, lower, it does look much more raider, which I like as well. So like your pants look much more raider-like rather than like the regular jeans. I I like the look. Beautiful. So let's go ahead and give it a save. We will first let's go ahead and wipe our old saves. But from an RP perspective, this is the most important thing for us because so obviously our character has the uh, we've destroyed the institute. We got our revenge. Uh, but obviously that was a big turning point in how kind we are, right? That it so she like feels very little these days. Now, uh, but when this whole thing happens where she ends up in the gauntlet now obviously she didn't she didn't have a choice with that but she does find herself in this gauntlet and stuff now i'm thinking though for our for for uh our rp um that this is it's kind of an important change for her because she is like you know i could use this and she's realizing that she could uh she's realizing that that she could use this um that she's liking the idea of her being uh over boss and she's and so she's super so she so she likes the idea and now we are officially over boss um and so she likes the idea and she's and she likes the idea of leading her own uh leading her own like faction and um, once we have more information, her the, the RP will develop a little more. But this is basically what I made our RP for is is the Nuka World DLC and going full raider um, and going super you know hardcore psychotic raider. That was what I made the RP for, and so this is super exciting for us because now we can get fully into character, and I'm very very excited. So uh, that is going to call for this one. So tomorrow's upload should be regular. There might be some weird like timing hiccups because I have to run to the airport, running my parents to the airport tomorrow morning at like at like four in the morning, and so uh, I don't know when I'll be have time to sleep. And so I'm uh, I'm not positive how schedule schedule scheduling wise I don't know how everything's gonna work out, um, but I'm gonna but I still think I'll be able to record and everything tomorrow. We'll make serious progress in in uh, Call of Duty and in Fallout because now we've started the Nuka World DLC, which I'm stoked for. Uh, we're getting really we're getting super far on on Call of Duty, and I don't know how many episodes of that we have left, but I would wager not too many. Anyway, regardless though, that's going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today, and we will talk to you guys later.